So, um, you know, from, from, from content writers to, to both front end developers, I'm hearing a lot of feedback that, uh, you know, Storyblock, you know, is just fast and easy to use. And it's, you know, it's simplicity is what seems to be resonating with, uh, with everyone, but it goes deeper than that. What, what, what does that really translate when you talk about being fast and, and, and easy, you know, in, into real ROI for, for companies that are, that are exploring kind of moving off maybe a, another platform? Yeah, like really good question. So like you touched on, like I touched on a little bit earlier, we really are trying to solve that content problem, both for the technical user to the developer who's creating these projects, but also maintaining that flexibility for the marketer, the content editor when the project comes to life. Um, ROI is just one part of that, uh, a very important part, of course, uh, and there's a few connected topics to ROI in general. We conducted a report actually last year with Forrester, uh, one of our analyst partners, to do some research on the ROI of Storyblock and, and, and on implementing it. The findings from that, uh, they actually, we, we knew we were returning a good return on investment, but we were even we were surprised by the amazing results that we've seen from that study. So Storyblock uh, from that report was found to deliver 582% uh, ROI over a three-year period. Mm. Generally speaking, we're, we're working uh, in initial contracts for around three years with our, with our customers. But another important element of that is the traditional cycle of kind of ditching your website every three years and, and throwing it in the bin and starting again. You know, headless CMS or component-based CMS systems, they lend themselves to being able to progressively grow that system. Again, making life a little bit easier for those two users, the, the developer and the content editor, as we mentioned earlier. But also within that study, some of the findings were that there's a le- there's less than a six month payback period for managing and scaling your content in that way, right? So your investment on Storyblock can give you a payback very quickly, right? Which is really important when you're evaluating, maybe moving over from a more legacy system and trying to kind of modernize your tech stack for your for your website or whatever digital assets that you're trying to deliver. A few other key benefits uh, related to ROI. In that study, we, we also learned that there's a 3x pro- productivity boost from efficient development setups, right? So from the developer being able to work in a more efficient way, we're seeing a huge productivity gain. And that, that translates also over to the, to the content editor. Uh, we're seeing a real drive and improvement for customer experience through scalable content operations too. So Storyblock has a lot of great features around collaboration, around content workflows, and that drives a really successful and efficient content operation plan. For, for organizations to utilize. So ultimately, we strive to get customers to value quicker and, and to help them succeed from there. And yeah, that's a few thoughts around why ROI is super important and what we're trying to deliver into that. And uh, we also actually, from that study, created an ROI calculator, which mm, we have on our Storyblock website. So you could take a look there and try and work it out a little bit for yourself. But this study I mentioned, that it, it, was, in, it was done in conjunction with a number of our, our key customers who have actually gone and implemented Storyblock. So really interesting results there to take a look at. 